Thank you very much for a moment uh, to meet this afternoon. I just had the honor and pleasure to meet with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and I began by congratulating him and the King of Morocco for having been able to host this annual meeting of the World Bank and the IMF despite all the challenges both uh, in the country after the earthquake but also in the context of a very complex international geopolitical reality. We are facing many challenges, economic, financial challenges in the global economy. Some of the topics being discussed here in Marrakesh in these days are fundamental to many developing countries. The United Nations, the United Nations Development Program is particularly focused on the question of financing for development. The debt crisis, the effects and the shocks of COVID-19 and the war in Ukraine and many other challenges that have since arisen, high inflation, high interest rates, have led to a situation where the world is not able to respond in a singular way. Wealthier countries are able to protect themselves, to invest in stimulus packages, to recover more quickly. For many developing countries, particularly least developed countries, there is no more fiscal space. There is no more room to go to the capital markets and borrow any more money to cope with the current crisis. Interest rates are too high. And in many countries today, in the global south, governments are spending more on servicing the interest payments for their loans than they are able to invest in education or health. This is why the discussions here in Marrakesh are so important. This is why the United Nations Development Program, together with our United Nations family, led by the Secretary General, are so focused on this question also of what the international financial system has to do, both to respond to these shocks, but also to embrace reforms in terms of its future role. In my discussions with the Minister just now, we also spoke about UNDP's many decades of being present in the Kingdom of Morocco as a development partner, as a resource to the government and the people of Morocco, but also as a partner for the future of development of the Kingdom of Morocco. We are proud to be part of some of the central programs of government over recent years, and we discussed in particular also the country's priority now in terms of reconstruction after the earthquake. Sustainable reconstruction, social coherence, economic recovery. These are priorities that His Majesty and the government have put right at the forefront of how the country wishes to move forward. UNDP is a trusted, a long-standing, a reliable partner and friend of the people of Morocco. We are committed to supporting the country as it moves forward, not only to recover from an earthquake, but to invest in a bold vision of the future of development of the country. And finally, I also expressed as a football fan my congratulations to the minister because Morocco has just pulled off a double, not only the African Cup of Nations, but also to co-host the World Cup. This is going to be great fun. So once again, thank you for your time, and it's been a pleasure to share with you a few of the topics that we covered. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Au revoir. قبل ما تخرجوا ما تنسوش تابوناو في لاشين يوتيوب وبارطاجيو الفيديو وديرو جيم وتابعوا الدار على مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي